Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today we are unboxing Anderson Fibrex composite window. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna open the box and um, pull out the window itself. Oops. So let's see what else in the box. So basically we got here on the windows and doors. Again, we have instructions in case you want to install this window yourself and some warranty information. You have this paper, how to do it. We have a set of screws, six screws for the window. And basically that's it. Okay, now let's go ahead and dive deep into the features, design, and performance of this window. As usual, let's start from the interior design of the window. So we, once we open the sash, and this is a single hung window, so it means that only the bottom sash is gonna be moving, and the top sash is gonna be, is gonna be always stationary, you cannot open it. But anyway, right off the bat, what we can see on the bottom sash is that we have this lift trail at the top of the sash instead of right here. Usually most vinyl windows and other windows as well, they have like a little all the way through lift trail here, but we have in here, which is kind of uh, nice and pretty much unique um, and, you know, blends in kind of into the window itself. Okay, so now let's see what the thickness of the frame and the sash combined to make sure that when you have small windows that you're not going to lose a lot of glass real estate. But anyway, let's use our tape measure here and uh, it's three and a quarter. So I would say that's kind of on the heavier side. I would I expected personally that it would be that we're going to gain more glass real estate, but um, Unfortunately, that's, you know, you have to have like bigger windows when you have bigger windows. You don't have that issue because um, the thickness of the frame and the sash is going to eat up uh, your glass real estate. But anyway, that's what we have, three and a quarter. Okay, so now let's see how it compares uh, uh, thickness of the frame of the window. That's replacement window. So we have three and a quarter frame as well, which is all of the vinyl windows. I mean, not all of them, but most of them have three and a quarter inches. So that's uh, pretty much you can install anywhere into replacement applications. Okay, so now we're gonna get a closer look of the interior design of the window from the top to the bottom as usual. And um, let's start with the lock actually. So in here, it's a standard lock with a vinyl shell and aluminum casing inside. But so it's the way it works actually is called auto lock. Let's see if I can. Okay, right here. So what uh, when you open your window and then you just what you have to do, you just push the sash down and it locks. So that's you know, that's here you go. That's the system. And there are a few more options, I believe, for one more option which is going to be metal lock but and it has like three more colors as well okay so let's go ahead and open the windows the bottom sash and that's the only sash actually that we can open but anyway so when we move it to the top we have here this uh, sash stops which are not bad because pretty much kind of smaller than other vinyl windows have it or other windows have it and in here you're gonna have the blinds, so anyway, you're not gonna probably see them. And many of you probably asking like, what's the difference between this Anderson Fibrex composite window, which is 100 series with uh, vinyl windows, you know? So um, the main difference, the major difference, I would say is that the uh, design language. So when you look at the design, it, um, it looks pretty much more you have this a more kind of like wood experience like look at this trim inside for on the top sash it has this beautiful wood accents and the biggest the major difference you don't see those uh, welding things like in here on the corners vinyl windows when they were welded on the high temperatures they usually have 
uh, some of the vinyl melted still in the corners, you know. In here we have them pretty much nice and clean all the way through. All these corners have this uh, clean 45 degree cut right here. So, and in this window we have uh, the top set stationery, so um, there are a lot of uh, disadvantages with that, but the major advantage that, you know, the top sash is not moving of the window is that uh, it's the window is more energy efficient because the less, less you have moving parts, less chances that, you know, you have um, more drafts and all that kind of stuff. And the, this window, Anderson uh, Fibrex Composite Window 100 Series, comes in four interior colors and five exterior colors. And what's good about it, what we like, that the interior, it is possible to make black interior and black exterior, which is kind of popular these days. And other manufacturers, like of final windows or uh, composite windows or any other windows, they usually cannot make uh, the interior black as well. But anyway, Anderson have it, so that's a plus. Okay, I think we got pretty much everything about the interior of the window. Oh, one thing I actually I forgot, almost forgot. So see, we have this channel here, which is usually, I mean, not usually, but uh, some of the premium manufacturers, window manufacturers, they have like a channel cover. In here, obviously, we cannot have the channel cover because uh, the sash, the bottom sash glides inside the frame. But uh, still, when, you know, uh, what you can see right here, you have this piece of aluminum piece sticking out which holds the balance system which is I would say not the best option and right here that's uh, the uh, holes for the screws which we have screws with a white painted white head but still I mean um, the only thing is pretty much generous space in here so you can clean easily if uh, any spider web or dirt gets inside the, the channel of the window but um, other than that, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a big issue, but it would be nicer if, if you had like this colors here, let's say if the channel would be colored like that all the way through, you know, but uh, well, not, not, probably not in this life, maybe in next one, <laughs> we'll see, you know. Okay, now we are all done with the interior of the window, so let's switch to the exterior of the window, and this is how the exterior of the window looks like. So pretty much flat exterior, we don't have any channel sticking out to the outside like uh, many, many vinyl windows have it, sometimes wood windows have it, aluminum windows and all that. So in here, nice and flat. I would say I like that, it's kind of modern design, so as uh, the window looks kind of more modern. But let's see, right here, I, I would say it, it's a little bit too much going on. Let me move the window so you can see as well. So you have all these joints, glazing beads, the frame of the window, then the frame, um, uh, the frame of the sash. So basically, a little bit too much. Three and a quarter. So that's another actually nice feature. So the top and the bottom sash they do align, and they have straight line all the way through. Cause some some windows out there they have uh, this uh, line here, the bottom sash kind of bigger than the top sash and all that but I don't know maybe they made so many this of this kind of uh, stuff or jammed it together to to make it the straight line or something like that but anyway that's how they did it and same thing pretty much nice corner joints uh, right here we have 45 degrees in here 90 degrees and the window comes with a half screen. Well, obviously that's the only way you know to do it because uh, that's a single hand window. You cannot operate the top sash anyway. But the worst, I mean, the most that I don't like about this window is uh, the whip holes. Whip holes right here at the bottom. So these whip holes right here, and they are kind of located too low to, you know, the, you know, I think it's a little, they should be like maybe right here, a little bit higher, because right now, once you put in your capping, aluminum capping right here, that's it, you have a chance to close the whip holes, 
And what they do, that's, you know, that type of kind of old style water management. So the water gets inside the frame when the, it drains, like on this side, gets inside the frame of the window. And it's supposed to come out through these two weep holes right here. And what happens after sometimes they get clogged with spiderweb dirt. So you would, you're going to have to be cleaning them like every five, six years, seven years. Depends how many trees you have around. If you have any busy road where a lot of dust hits your windows so you have to power wash them all clean with a piece of wire which is kind of annoying nobody has the time for that these days so anyway that's definitely that back, back teacher hopefully anderson in the future i'm gonna do something about it but um right now that's what we have in this uh window another thing i like out of the box with anderson windows when you when the company installs the windows for you or i don't know if you install them somehow for yourself and you probably when you install the windows you're gonna hold the window like that so all the glass is gonna get like finger marks all kind of dirt so after the installation what you have to do you just have to peel off this piece here and look at that you have nice and clean glass as if nothing happened and you don't have to go out and do it with the windex paper towel waste your time spend your time so i think it's kind of cool you know it makes the life easier and i would say that's probably the lights uh, easier are made for the installation company because you know anyway for the homeowners if you're a homeowner watching this the installation company is going to clean your, win or your glass off the windows, new windows anyway. But oh, it's nice, you know, nice to have these little things. And most uh, vinyl manufacturers, they don't do this with their windows, unfortunately. Okay, very good. So now let's switch to the energy efficiency of this window. And how is um, energy efficient this window is, it's, it's tough to say. Is, I, I have no even idea and yeah like some people look at the sticker your value is 0 0.3 and all that but you know the sticker that's more like about the glass you can do it uh, you know more tinted glass more uh, low e there are like I think four options of low e for the for this Anderson fiber fiberx composite window but uh, what's important like how much air is gonna go inside the house and outside of the house through the window so and usually what we do like if you watched any other of my videos we tilt in the stashes and check the weather stripping the insulation but the problem with this window here that's when the problems begin actually that even though it's a single hand window right so in other windows manufacturers like vinyl windows wood windows or fiberglass windows you can tilt in at least you know at least this bottom sash because that's where we can see how well insulated it is and the problem right here we have there is no way to tilt all this bottom sash in inside the house so basically how we're gonna check We'll try to do our best and, um, you know, just uh, rely on um, Anderson ratings and, you know, hopefully they tested it and that's what it is. But anyway, right here, when you look at this window in the middle, we have interlocking meeting rail. So it means when we push that sash down, it kind of interlocks with a top sash and we have this strip of weather stripping which is can be seen i think pretty much well it's made somehow from um, a gray material so um and the sash it has a little bit of play but that's you know that not 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 too much probably that's the way it has to be so and it sits tight so that uh, side of the sash goes to the frame pretty much tight as well but um, let's see actually can we find out if that well when you look at the well probably yeah, let me remove the uh, screen so we can take a better look okay here we go once we remove the screen now we have access to the outside of the window and we can see that the window has this weather stripping insulation all the way around uh, the exterior of the bottom sash so um when you push it down, 
lock it so we have that weather stripping here pretty much tight and right there and it looks like that's the only weather stripping that we have in this window but um uh, it does look pretty much tight maybe someday we'll test it with uh with uh air blower and see how um, you know how well it keeps the air seeping inside the house or out of the house okay so that much we can talk about the energy efficiency of this window and um I think probably it would not hurt like put some kind of weather stripping on this side and over there as well you know at least to block most of the airflow but you know you tell me if you have this window by any chance Anderson Fibrex 100 series in your house uh, post in the comments and let us know as energy efficient do you feel any drafts and all, all that kind of good stuff so the other downside I would say we have this screen you know and it's a half screen but to pull it out you would have to use this little uh, tabs here with both of your fingers so and they are made of um, vinyl and you know vinyl it's a nice product uh, for you know for for the frame of the window and all that but in here that's kind of a moving part so what I see and what I saw in other windows after like 15 years or so, or maybe 10 years, if uh, you know that vinyl window on the sun on the sunny side, you have it baking every day on high temperatures, it become bristle. So there is high chance that once you try to pull out the screen, you can accidentally break these holders and it's gonna be tough to or put it back again. So I would definitely say you know for anderson maybe they watch this video so they can do like aluminum just you know it's like few cents to make them aluminum or something like that and it's gonna make the window much more uh, enjoyable to use okay so now let's talk about performance of this uh window so and again uh, you know for easy cleaning there is no such a feature as a uh, easy clean the most you can clean let's say if you want to clean the glass of the windows you can clean the bottom sash, the top sash like that and the exterior glass of your windows unfortunately you have to climb up a ladder if it's a second floor or hire somebody to do it because there is no way, no, no chance to tilt in even the bottom sash the top sash stays uh, stationary but even the bottom sash does not have the feature to come down and that's I would say pretty much a big downside uh, for some people and maybe for many people because most of the single hand windows at least you have this sash you know you can fold it in and clean it and then you can clean the top sash like this as well with other windows not with that one so that's i would say the performance wise it's a downside uh, it operates pretty much easily no issues with that once you push down it does lock nice and tight Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and you know, what is this window made from, which is fiber? I mean, what, what is fiber? Is this fiberglass? Is this vinyl? Is this composite? So it's actually composite. That's, you know, that's the true answer. But there are like other different composites out there on the market. So this one here is made, I believe, uh, with um, sawdust some glue and pieces of vinyl mixed together. And it, you know, it becomes pretty much durable so um anderson says that um it withstands temperatures up to 150 degrees which is good for the um dark color windows let's say you have black or brown outside so it's not gonna fade so much the vinyl is not gonna expand and contract um uh, i mean the fibrex is not gonna expand and contract so much like the vinyl does so um but inside um there is there are like i believe like about four chambers inside no foam feel but still um according to anderson that you know the frame and the sash pretty much he holds the heat inside and cold outside pretty much well there you go ladies and gentlemen anderson fibrex composite window 100 series um so we can draw the line and you know you can ask like for who is this window made for if you're a price shopper probably i would say you should skip this window and you know go with some other window manufacturers or window brands and you know but uh if you uh if you like like design of the window especially interior design i would say the interiors that's where all the beauty lies 
and most of the times that's what you're gonna see like once you install the windows you sit inside the house and you look at the interior of the window you see this nice beautiful uh, joints corner joints of the frame nice accents that uh, pretty much unique lift, lift rail in here but uh, at the same time if you do clean your windows a lot and you love to see that clear glass you know not not dirty or anything like that and you you what's going to happen you're going to have to spend money and hire somebody to clean the glass otherwise you have to do it yourself and who wants to do that just climb on the ladder but nobody has the time or desire to do that so i would not recommend it if you are pretty much um love to have that clean glass all the time so the performance wise it's you know not not the best and but uh, other than that yeah i mean it's it's a good window all in all if you just if you don't open your windows and you don't care about those whip holes and all that you just have them in and you know you all enjoy the the beauty of the window and look through the glass so no problem Anyway, I appreciate you watching and if you're still watching, I mean at the end of the video, I don't even know how many minutes um, is this video gonna be, but anyway, if you're still here and you live in New Jersey or Eastern PA, guess what? Just mention this video once we, or uh, if you call us to add the number below to do estimates, window estimates for you, mention that you watch this video till the end, you last it till the end will give you a 10% discount. How about that? Don't tell uh, about that to anybody, but uh, keep it to yourself. All right, see you next time.